Hello, I'm coming to you from Tony's Alley here on OC's campus for our first lecture. I will be going over highlights from chapter one, the music, cultures as a world of music. The book talks about a, a soundscape and I like this example because there's sound all around us. We have even sitting out here it's pretty quiet because it's about to rain and uh, but I still hear the wind I hear an air conditioner over there on that building and I hear occasionally I hear birds and I also hear some road noise from a memorial out there but a soundscape is all the sounds around us and there are numerous different sounds that we hear every day a culture is the way of life of a people learned and transmitted from one generation to the next. A music culture deals with ideas, actions, institutions, material objects, and other elements that influence the musical practices of a group of people. There are many differences in music, and I want to think about the standards you judge them by. So I want you to think about how you judge music, the type of music you listen to, and why do you think some music is good, and and why do you think other music is bad? Or why is certain music appropriate at certain events and not appropriate at others? By studying other music, we foster an open ear and an open mind that enlarges our understanding and increases our own pleasure. What is music? That's a very hard question that we're gonna look at and you'll start to see that there's many characteristics that make up music. So what is music? Music is something that people make, and a music domain consists of the ideas and activities that someone considers music. In the book, it talks about the old-time Baptists in the southern Appalachian Mountains. Uh, I got a bee joining me. <laughs> that they uh, they worship by singing, and they consider they don't consider it music because they. Uh, or they consider their music to be without instrumental accompaniment, which I thought is very similar to uh, how a lot of the Church of Christ worship. They do, they do not include instruments where they're singing. We need to view music through a cultural windows uh, other than our own. There are many characteristics of music. There's rhythm, melody, repetition, variation, and the list goes on. But music is human expression. Music is sound that is humanly patterned or organized. Rhythm is musical pattern, similar to a heartbeat, and there are practices of rhythm such as polyrhythm, free rhythm, and polymeter. Melody is the part of music that goes up or down, and this is usually part of a song that you remember or like the melody that the melody that you sing uh, that makes the song distinctive pitch is high or low sound and tone is sound vibrations which are faster for high notes and slower for low tones one time I saw a musical therapist actually be able to slow down the heart rate of person by playing lower sounding tones Timber is tone quality, for example, why a trumpet sounds different than a violin. And then there's decorative tones added to melodies a lot of times that we call ornaments. Uh, there's ways of organizing notes, and in the Western music we call this a scale sometimes, or a major scale. And within that scale there's different distances between notes that we call intervals. Harmony is a part different from the melody that accompanies it. A lot of times harmony is added to, uh, to a melody, some, and that's, uh, that starts becoming a polyphonic, a polyphonic texture. And uh, texture is a combination of different sounds. When uh, it's monophonic, that just refers to having a unison melody. Heterophonic is two or more voices elaborating a melody 
in different ways. And this, the book talks about this is real similar to like a Dixieland band where several people are playing different melodies at the same time. The form is the structural arrangement of a song or composition. The phrase is a musical thought similar to a sentence in grammar. A performance of music moves along on the basis of agreed upon rules or procedures. These rules in a musical performance could, could consist of, say, volume, intonation, dress, atmosphere, and other factors. The musical community is a group of people that participate in a performance. These are the performers, the audience, composers, stagehand, all types of people become part of this musical community. There is a affinity group when there is a common interest for the community. So when the community agrees upon a common interest, we call this the affinity. Music and belief systems. We believe particular things about music. We may believe that music has a healing power or a certain way that it should be used in worship. Cultures vary in their beliefs of music. Aesthetics of music. What is beautiful music and what is not? And a lot of times we have rules that we come up with why a certain type of music is not beautiful. I know when I was growing up, like my parents didn't think a lot of the rock and roll music I listened to was good music or aesthetically pleasing. Context for music. We listen to and perform different types of music in different atmospheres. We have different types of music in church, sometimes fast music for like exercise, romantic music for a date, energetic music at athletic events, or you can think of the type of music at a political rally. The history of music is the way it is studying the way it was performed in the past. Uh, the way it's performed now and how this uh, affects the future performance of music. It is good to understand the history of music so you can make informed decisions about the music you like or choose to perform. Music distribution today has many components. The lines between amateur and professional are constantly being blurred. Someone today can record a song on YouTube and tomorrow they can become very popular. You can also, people can record music and uh, distribute it through web, uh, web browsers like uh, CD Baby, or they can load it up to iTunes and become popular that way. And there are TV shows, as you know, like American Idol or The Voice that choose, that uh, the public chooses their uh, professional artists. A repertory is a stock of music that an artist has ready to perform. Style refers to everything related to the organization of musical sound itself. Genre refers to the type of music or song, for example, a Christmas carol, a hymn, a power ballad, and there are also subdivisions which in, within genres like real country or smooth jazz or gangster rap. That's another example. Texts are the words that go along with music. Composition is how the music is composed, improvised, in, in, individually, or a group. Sometimes someone may come up with a composition just by improvising. Sometimes there's individual artists. Sometimes someone might write the text, another person writes the music. Transmission is how music is learned from one person to the next. Music books, you may learn music by studying a book. You may learn music now by watching someone on YouTube. You can take lessons from people on iTunes uh, or like Spotify. Spotify has a way where people on Facebook can, can see what you're uh, listening to on Spotify. So many different ways of transmission now. Movement in music. So much of music incorporates bodily movement, foot tapping, dancing, snapping, running, 
sometimes people are not allowed to move during music like if you go in church it may not be appropriate at some churches to clap or at a orchestra concert it might not be appropriate to get up and dance uh, the study of music we have many instruments from history and recordings audio recordings are a good way to study music but they've only been around since 1870 so we're only able to look at music of the past by studying either written examples that we have or uh, instruments that we have. Uh, music may be looked upon as an ecology, which an ecology is a human resource that is produced and cons consumed. So music is produced, it's consumed, and all those factors are thought about when one performs music or creates music. So next on this uh, video, we're going to look at the two examples that the book talks about, songs of the, uh, the bird, the, there's a bird that, uh, that the book talks about, and then also of the postal workers in Ghana. And then I have a video of my trip on Pac Rim and the musics, the different types of music that we witnessed while we were on Pac Rim. <laughs> Sydney, Australia, and I'm standing in front of the Sydney Opera House. The thing about the Sydney Opera House is it has many unique characteristics that make it stand out. As we study the music of the Pacific Rim, many unique characteristics define musics of different cultures. different characteristics of music, one element would be scales. Like when we study the music of China, you'll see that the pentatonic scale is a unique scale. a musical language. Hey, well, 
I hope you enjoyed the music of the Pacific Rim.